Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United and of course George. Welcome along to the channel everybody. It's a match preview uh, today, obviously we've got a midweek game, the first midweek Premier League match. There isn't many of them is there, but this is one on Tuesday evening. We face Everton at Ellen Road back at home, we have to shake the disappointment of Brighton away from us and we're going to go straight into it then and look at Everton's as I like to do it'll be the last one before this before the window closes the transfer window they have brought in quite a few really haven't they um you know shrewd business bringing in James Tarkowski from Burnley obviously the Raider Burnley again got Dwight McNeil uh Onana coming in from Lille the I think he's a record signing isn't he and of course, Neil Mope, amongst others, and we'll come on to him in a little bit. But yeah, Mope, not a, a good sign for us, is it? He'll be probably making his debut, won't he, at Ellen Road. But then, if we have a look at the predicted lineups, then obviously we'll start with Leeds as we're the home side. I think, I think Marsh might bring in Cooper. I think he might change it around. Maybe your rent a or drop out. I think Cooper's got a little bit more time to get fit. Didn't feature at Brighton, did he? Um, so, yeah, I think if, if anything, he might just bring in Cooper. Uh, I think if Cooper's fit, he plays. Uh, and not Cooper's, you know, I don't think Cooper is, is probably the strongest of our defenders, but, you know, he's a captain. I do believe if he's fit, he will play. Other than that, I think it'll be the same. I don't envision us signing anybody, uh, any of the left back or a striker, uh, before Tuesday's game, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because we need it. But I don't. I think it'll go right down to the deadline with the new signings. Um, On to Everton's predicted lineup. Then I do think, like I said, I think Mope will play. I think he'll be the only change from the side that uh, drew with Brentford. Uh, Frank Lampard has, has sort of changed up a little bit in the in the four games so far. But I think he'll go with a 3-4-3. A, a three, three. Seems to like be playing a three at a back with Tarkowski, Cody and Mason Holgate. Um, so, yeah. And then Awobi and Unana in the middle. So And then this man, obviously, Neil Mope uh, alongside Damari Gray. And I think Gordon will be shifted out on the right wing. If he's still there... By this time, you know, obviously Chelsea are massively interested. But let's talk about, uh, you know, men that might cause us a bit of a problem. It's that man on the screen, Neil Mope. He loves a goal against Leeds. It's his debut at Ellen Road. He loves to wind people up. He loves to wind us up as a Leeds United fan base. He scored a few goals for Brentford and for Brighton against Leeds United in the past. Look, he's a horrible player to play against. Um, yeah, and he's a big debut for him. It's a big signing, really, for Everton. This they've sort of lacked a striker, haven't they? Really, Anthony Gordon's not really a striker. Looks like he's on his way anyway, potentially. So Mope is the man that'll come in, no doubt, and lead the line alongside Gray. And I expect Gordon. Gray is obviously a, a bit of a threat as well. Got a lot of pace. He obviously scored in this match. You can see on the screen the last time these two met at Ellen Road. It was a 2-2 draw. We had to come from behind twice. Calvert-Lewin scored a penalty. He obviously is a big, big miss for Everton. Not fit for this one. They've got quite a lot of injuries, incidentally. But yeah, he, he scored... Click then equalised, then Gray scored in the early second half. Rafina was the man that equalised it. In the end, it was just only the second game of the season. This one is the fifth. Still early days in the season, but, you know, regardless of our defeat on Saturday, I'm still pretty positive with this one. Everton yet to win, and again, fans will say, ooh, but they're yet to win. It's a dangerous game. Look, I think we're at Ellen Road. I think we're, you know, we've got to be favourites potentially to win this one. I fancy us to get anything out for something from this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. watching.